we've gotten our hands on the very first official review of the RSI Arastra. So now the Arastra is a mining ship that CIG wants to place um, right in between the Mo and the RSI Orion. And um, to be quite honest, this, this is a gorgeous looking ship. Um, so what we're going to do in this video, we're going to go through um, what the reveal um, looks like right now through the most recent Inside Star Citizen episode here. And we're just going to have some commentary on it as we go through. Okay, so let's go straight into it. So the Arastra kind of combines the core visual elements that we've kind of developed over the years of RSI. It still has that definite triangular. So one thing that I wanted to this to mention is the the beauty of RSI's new designs. It's I man, I have to give it to um, CIG. They they really do well with ship designs. It's like they keep improving. You know, so the Arastra has that industrial feel with the same RSI look as well. And it's that mix of the two. It just makes this thing perfect, man. This is a really nice looking ship. It kind of reminds me of um, the mining barges in, in EVE Online. I like, um, you know what? I'm not even surprised because I'm sure a lot of CIG uh, designers and artists play EVE. So, you know, I'm not even surprised that they will want their favorite ship in the game. So. That's what we're seeing with a lot of the ships, actually. So a, a lot of people, um, this reminds me of my mar mining barge in Eve. So it would be uh, really cool to actually get my hands on this, this ship itself. Arrow had shape to it, so it still feels at home within the RSI family. One of the things we struggled with a little bit at the beginning when concepting it was we didn't want it to feel too sleek. It really needs to feel like it had a functional purpose. And that really led us down exposing a lot more of the, the industrial elements. We've built on the idea of, of um, RSI layering in their ships to kind of really expose the core frame. So what I'm really curious about is, um, so these mining turrets, right? So does this mean that they're going to maybe with the introduction of this ship they will introduce the much larger mining rocks um i'm not sure the size of these uh miners but it seems like they might be a size up from the the ones that the mo has it's possible it's possible that these could be like size threes or size four miners probably size threes and um with that amount of power they could probably tackle much larger rocks so this is something um they need to actually bake into the game in order to support the orion itself as the orion will be taking on asteroids like actual asteroids themselves so um they need to you know allow us to mine actual asteroids um, in the game so this is looking really good um but let's continue work of the ship down the central kind of columns it also has a much more comfortable habitation for the crew to live on it's got plenty of utility on board for day-to-day -day life as well as a place to actually land additional vehicles in the back it has everything you need to spend a, a, a large amount of time away from dock away from station it's got an onboard refinery it's got a large large amount of ore storage as well as onboard cargo it's a kind of big serious mining ship and it allows for a crew of up to five to kind of go out and really kind of step into that professional level mining outfit without requiring you know, a big capital ship. We have multiple stations for different people to actually mine at the same time as each other. They're all sat together in a very RSI-like bridge section. The remote turrets that are on the Astra all uh, have some level of transformation in, in terms of their location. The two at the front can slide backwards and forwards along, so you don't require the pilot to have to go left a bit, go right a bit. But then we also have a large one in the center, which can descend through the middle of the ships. can actually transform down through the ship and out the bottom to cover the underside. So really, you can mine in 360 degrees with this ship. And as it cuts that through, is, I think, I think, honestly, I think that's one of the coolest things that they've ever added in, into a, onto a mining ship. The fact that this mid top turret is going to be able to swap between the top and the bottom, man, the versatility is really good. And it's going to be cool too. And, and I think they mentioned um, that you'll be able to see it swap from, um, swap between, um, 
the top and the bottom through the ship. So um, just imagine a level of immersion. Honestly, it's going to be really cool to be on the ship and operating with it. And the side. So really, you can mine in 360 degrees with this ship. And as it cuts through the ship, you can actually see the turret as it travels from one side to the other. And then additional crew members can help either position the ship if they want to change location or deal with the mined goods at the rear of the ship in the cargo bay. But the ship can also hold ground mining vehicles. If you are planet side, some of those crew members could take mining vehicles that you've stored aboard out and do some surface mining whilst the ship hangs around nearby to tackle some ground mining rocks. So this ship is really perfectly placed for people who want to go mining but don't quite know what they're going to encounter along the way. They are equipped to tackle anything on the surface, anything on space. I think um, this is going to be the selling point of this ship. The fact that it's going to be an, a general purpose miner. So whether you want to do FPS mining in caves, whether you want to do ROC mining, um, whether you want to do ship mining, you can do all of that in this. So this is going to be great for small groups or small um, organizations or small divisions like my my uh, organization. We're going to have a mining division where like if we have a, a crew of maybe five guys, they can just go in and go in with an arastra. They have the defense that they need on, on, on the ship. They have the turrets and everything. They have um, the ground vehicles that they need. Whatever they run into, they can mine it, they can extract it, they can refine it, and that's it. That's all they need, right? So um, this is going to be really cool. Uh, I'm really liking the interior designs of this ship as well. Um, has that feel of RSI and industrial uh, mix, so it's, it's, it's looking really good. One of the benefits of concept in the Arastra now is that we know a lot more about our game, a lot more about how mining works and kind of features in the game. That gives us a much better understanding of what's important for a mining ship. And that's one of the things that we'll take on to when we kind of deliver the Orion in the future. So this is a great example of how uh, development on some ships improves and expedites others. Compared to the Orion, this bridges the gap in a few nice ways. It leverages all the existing mining loops and mechanics that we have in game at the moment. Whereas the Orion is going to be solely mining in space, it is a big ship designed for sitting out in deep space mining big asteroids. It won't be capable of going down to planet size and mining on there. What we kind of learned from the Orion is that a lot of our RSI ships feel very, very aggressive. They feel very military and fast. And if you think of like a big industrial mining ship, the Orion is kind of the opposite to that. It's a huge kind of bulky ship that is very purpose built. And what we want to do with the Arastra is take the lessons that we, we'd learned from that and combine that with some of the more modern RSI art styles and manufacturing techniques. The Arastra is the sort of all-in-one mining ship. You've started hand mining at the very start. You've progressed to, say, a rock is the next step, then a prospector, then a mole. This is the, the big uh, step that lets you do a bit of everything. You can mine, you can refine, you can transport. And then if you want to go even deeper into that, then you go off to the Orion at the end. So what did we learn this week? Man, so that, the, the one thing that I, I, I like about this ship, so in, in terms of defense, right? This thing has two turrets on the side, it looks like, a turret in the back here. I'm not sure there's gonna be another turret in the underbelly. There might be. Um, yeah, it has some defense, it has some defense, but Still, I would suggest taking this thing out with some escorts. It's always good. Um, it's a really good looking ship. Hold on, there's a screenshot right here. A really good looking ship. So it seems like from what I see thus far, three turrets. And it looks like maybe um, each turret has um, four guns. So from what it looks like it's maybe like two size threes and then two size fives possibly on each on the side turrets i'm not sure about this one this one might just be two two guns on it um it's really cool this is one of the coolest looking this is this is the, the coolest looking mining ship actually in the game actually um 
but yeah, you guys let me know um, what you guys think in terms of what the pricing will be for this ship. Um, let me know your thoughts. Are you going to pick this up um, through the concept sale or are you going to get this in game? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys on the next video.